What's going on, guys? This is Bruce Matz, and your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football. The show that talks about all things fantasy from redraft, dies, and DFS, and all things in between. Something you're into, make sure you ring the bell, hit that subscribe button, tell everybody you know, get the word out. Todd Gurley's currently not on a team. He tried out with the Lions, he met with the Ravens, he's currently in limbo. As of right now, it's June 11th, and it's hard to tell where his career is going to go. Things did not look good at the end of last year. He had a knee issue, slowed him down. However, last year, he had two RB1 weeks and six RB2 weeks. So half the year is fantasy viable, but that that was on the beginning. He was playing on a high-powered, high-volume Atlanta Falcons offense, and then at the end of the season, it did not look good. He had a little knee injury, and it slowed him down quite a bit, and now he's a free agent. He has not been signed yet, which is a sign that teams are not interested. If they were interested, they'd be chomping at the bit to get him on their rosters, trying to get him signed as fast as possible so another team would get him. They'd be swooping in, making the sign, get him on his team, and he'd already be in OTAs and camp and whatever. But it's June 11th. He's still a free agent. What does that tell us? Is one, he's not signed. And two, he's looking around and he's trying out for teams. Whatever happened with the Lions, it has not equated to him being signed yet. It doesn't mean they like him or dislike him or whatever. Lions went up to him, checked what was under the hood. They looked at him. They said, okay. And he went over to the Ravens. They did the same thing. And now he's in limbo. So we don't know. But if this becomes a process that lingers farther into the offseason, that could be something we could be worried about. Because if it were in August, in September even, in October, he's still a free agent. Then that's a good indicator that he went to all these teams, worked out talk to him and stuff, and they weren't interested. They weren't really to pay the price to get him because he may not be wanting to take a minimum at all because of what he's done in the past and the uh, injuries he took throughout his career. I wouldn't want to play at the minimum either. So he may be wanting to play at a set price, and NFL teams might be saying no. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what's going on here. But as of right now, he's not on a team. And the question is, is he dust? Is he done? We don't know. We don't know. He may just need some time off just to heal himself and repair to get back to 80, 90% of what he was. He may never be back to the same, but he may not be done yet. And all it takes is maybe him getting re-signed or signed with a team in mid-season this year or next off-season, and he may be back looking good and it may not be what we're used to seeing when he was with the Rams blowing it up when he was an RB1 in 2017 and RB3 in 2018 it may not be that but he might be respectable at least usable in fantasy we may get that back he's not dead yet currently as an RB74 in Dynasty ADP he's cheap he is an easy to get asset off waivers even off the trade market whatever he's cheap there's no doubt about it if you're interested in his comeback it's not like you're going to pay much we don't know what's going to happen with his career he's right now at a crossroads he's either going to come back play well i doubt i can almost guarantee you, you're not going to get those rb1 rb3 season that he got you in 2017 2018 those seasons won me a lot of money i missed those years too I had him on a lot of dynasty teams then. I had him on some teams that were so good that it folded the league because no one could compete with me. I missed those years. We just have to monitor him. There's a chance he may not be back. There's a chance that he comes back, he's on a team, he practices, he takes some snaps, he's on the roster, and then he's out. We don't know. The knee's not good. It hasn't been good. We need him to get healed up. We need him to get back to being serviceable again. We need him to get back or close to what he was. I just want to see him on the field. I'm a fan of Todd Gurley. He's one of my favorite prospects that I've ever covered. He was really fun to watch in Georgia. That burst, that speed, that explosiveness. I'm rooting for him. And the fact that things are starting to mount up against him. We're now in mid-June. He's not on a team. It's not looking good. It's always good to root for a comeback story. I want him on my dynasty teams at this cheap price point just to root for. Just to see what happens say you just throw a fourth round rookie pick at him i mean rb74 that's about fourth round rookie pick third round rookie pick what's really the difference they're both 
like 10% to 0% hit rate anyways. You throw that at him, see what happens on your roster. Well, you know, he comes back and gives you six RB2 weeks or something like that. And that's better than what you could have got with that draft pick. And if he busts, guess what? Those draft picks had a 0 to 10% hit rate anyways, so it's no big deal. That That's the price point you're getting at when you're looking at a Ty Gurley. It's not like he doesn't have the talent. It's not like he doesn't have the basic essentials the basic nuanced skills to be able to compete in the league. We've seen this. We've seen him do good things, and Todd Gurley has always been a player. He's had some issues. We could see him come back to close to his true form and be competitive. We just have to wait and see. But at the price point, you can dance with that. That ain't too bad. I want to thank you for watching the show. Sticking around this long. I must have kept you entertained. If you want, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. If you got anything you want me to hit on, do a video on, let me know. And I'll catch you next time.